Do you know what you're putting on your skin? One or all of the skincare products you're using could be wrecking your hormones, and that's what we're talking about today, endocrine disruptors and skincare. Remember to like, subscribe, and share to learn more about getting off the hormone roller coaster. I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. I'm a functional medicine doctor, family doctor, and registered dietitian. And I help my functional medicine patients get off the hormone roller coaster, and I'm here to help you do that too. So let's talk about endocrine disruptors. So what is the word, what does the word endocrine mean? It means where the hormones are, the system where your hormones are produced. And disruptor obviously means something that can screw that up. So endocrine Endocrine disruptors are additives that are often put into or toxins that are in our food supply, in our water supply, in our skincare, in our cosmetics, in our food. Um, well, I think I already said that, but so those can screw up our hormones, our sex hormones for women are um, estrogen, progesterone, and women need testosterone too, so that as well. And for men, testosterone and sperm quality and all of that. So for women, they can cause irregular periods, increase your risk for cancer, increase your estrogen levels. And a lot of women, especially the women that I talk about on this channel, talk to on this channel that are in their 40s or late 30s or early 50s, and their estrogen is kind of skyrocketing before they hit menopause later. It kind of goes through that period of estrogen dominance, and I'll link a video up above about that. So we don't want extra things that screw up our hormones even more. And that extra estrogen can lead to cancer or an acne and skin problems. So our skincare products, if they contain these endocrine disruptors, can be screwing up this hormone balance even more. So today we're going to talk about that and stay tuned all the way to the end because I am going to have a giveaway for one of the products that I talk about. Did you know that women are exposed to more than 80,000 toxins, or women or men are exposed to more, to, more than 80,000 toxins in their environment every day, 80, more than 80,000 things that can screw up their hormones. So it's impossible to avoid them completely, but what we want to do is think about them in these groups of the major players that can disrupt our hormones. So I like to think of them as in one of my um, prior videos, and I'll link that too, I talked about xenoestrogens and the five P's. So I like to talk about the P's, avoiding those. And number one would be parabens. So anytime you see on your label methylparaben, ethylparaben, anything with the word paraben, P-A-R-A-B-E-N at the end, that could be an endocrine disruptor or a xenoestrogen, meaning that mimics estrogen and can increase that estrogen dominance, that estrogen imbalance that we talk about. So we want to avoid those. They can be the parabens in particular can be linked to breast cancer and fertility issues. So problems with your fertility, problems getting pregnant. For both men, I mean for both women getting pregnant and men being able to get a woman pregnant, it can screw that up too. 99% of malignant tumors in one study had one to five types of parabens in them. So it all adds up. Even though we're just talking about little tiny amounts in each product, when we're exposed to other sources of parabens and then we're putting them on our face, on our lips, um, around our eyes, they can easily add up and cause problems. The other one is phthalate. So it's P-H-T-H-L-A-A-T. L-A-T-E-S. And those are found in anything with fragrance, a synthetic fragrance. If the fragrance comes from a natural essential oil, then you're not as worried about phthalates. But in um, when we have the fake fragrance in a lot of our skincare products that make it, you know, really we want to put it on our face. But if we're putting all these different fragrances on, then they're combining all these different toxins and endocrine disruptors. So what phthalates can do is they can cause thyroid problems. And I run into so many women and men with thyroid problems in my practice and reproductive problems. So again, fertility. So we can have problems getting pregnant, getting a man, getting a woman pregnant when we have these ingredients in our lives or these endocrine disruptors. But we can also have that build up within our sperm or our egg. And then that can create problems even with your offspring, with your babies that you create. So you got to think about the next generation as well. And re uh, the other thing we want to think about when we talk about reproduction and fertility and milk supply and things getting kind of caught in our system is plastics. So we want to move away from even more than just BPA, try to get away from plastics 
altogether because they can cause major problems with our hormone system. So BPA got the bad rap and it deserved it. But there are a lot of other types of plastics that can screw up our hormones. So make sure you're looking at that. You're trying to buy glass containers, whatever possible, drink, eat out of glass containers. And even your skincare products can be out of glass containers. They're a bit more expensive, obviously, but it can be done. What are some of the brands even that we can choose? And that's what I'm going to talk about today. And that's what the giveaway at the end is all about. So have you, first I want to ask, have you tried any brands that you love that are clean, that don't have the parabens, the phthalates, um, don't have at least silicones or plastics put into them. They may be in a plastic container and that's not quite as bad. So if you've tried any, please put them in the comments down below so we can all learn from each other and figure out what great products are out there. So there is a great website called, um, by the environmental working group called Skin Deep. And then there's an app called Think Dirty. There's also a good brand called, or a good website called pureskinlab.com. And that can give you some great products as well. But the Skin Deep app is app or website is wonderful because um, you can look up your brand and see how it rated against all other brands. And one of the ones I found that I really, really like is called La Coes. I did not do well in my high school French and I have not practiced it very much. I want to show you the ingredient label because it looks really, or it is really great, the ingredient label. And I've been using it for like four weeks now and only used about this much of it. And it's just a great face oil. that's very natural, very clean smelling. It's a natural smell. It doesn't have a synthetic fragrance to it. it really brings moisture to my skin. And um, I live in Colorado. It's the winter time. So it's really great for that. But then they say you can use it on any type of skin. So this is what the package looks like. Ingredients are jojoba seed oil, rosehip seed oil, camellia seed oil, argania spinosa, argan kernel oil, um, chia seed oil, prickly pear seed oil, avocado fruit oil, sea buckthorn berry, and that's a really good ingredient um, that we use as a supplement too. Evening primrose oil, we also use as a supplement, non GMO vitamin E, carrot root. Um, pomegranate seed oil, grape seed oil, lavender essential oil, rosemary, jasmine flower extract. So this is the what the bottle looks like. I don't know if it'll focus on that. And that, like I said, I've been using for like a month, and that's all I've used out of it. So it la it's expensive, but it'll last a long time. And then some other brands like Derma E, I use their um, Advanced Peptides Eye Collagen, and I'm going to give away a package. I've used almost all of this one. I'm, I'm going to give this away, and I'll tell you how to enter into that at the end. Um, there's some other great brands, Dr. Hoshka, H-A-U-S-C-C-H-A. -C -C -A. That's what I use for my lips. Um, they have some great lip care. It's moisturizing, no fragrance in there. Um, and it lasts a long time as well. So some of these things are pricier, but they can last a long time and be much better for us in the long run. So what are you putting on your skin? That's what you want to think about. You want to stay away from the parabens, the phthalates, the plastics. And then I'm going to go in my next video into that even further on makeup and some of the ingredients that can be in there. And they can also be in skincare that you want to avoid. So to be um, eligible for the giveaways, um, I want you to like, subscribe, and share this video out, but I can really track the like and the subscribe part. Um, and uh, then I will let you know in the next, um, I'll let you know in a post after you subscribe that who, who won the video, I mean, sorry, who won the giveaways for this week. And I'm excited to give that away. So thanks so much for joining me. I also want you to know about my Mighty Network, and that is a network. It's a private Facebook like group, but without the Facebook ads and algorithms. So it's basically a completely private group where we support you in your hormone balance. I lead the group. We have discussions about food and nutrition and supplements and exercise and mindfulness and meditation and all kinds of tips and and recipes and ways to just get your hormones back in balance and get off that hormone roller coaster. And now included with that paid monthly group is you get my uh, Emerge Hormone Balance class. It's an eight-week class that you get a lesson every week. You get videos in that. You get exercises to do as far as 
um, homework to kind of do to help you get off the hormone roller coaster. And it's all developed by me and it's super helpful for that time period when your hormones are changing. So check that out. There'll be an invite down below. And then remember to subscribe, share, and like, and be entered into that contest. And I will see you next week where we're talking about endocrine disruptors and our cosmetics. Thanks so much for joining me.